Welcome everyone. My name is Dede Rahmadi as your moderator today. In this occasion, we have an interesting topic to to be discussed that is the advance and the disadvance of video game online. All right. Now let's meet our special friends who will be the speakers and they are Denis Inkasa Putra, Rahma Er Zahra and the last person is Sinta Kamalia. Okay everyone, back to the topic. We all know the video game industry has grown rapidly. Then it become a multi-billion dollar industry, even taking part in our daily lives. We can see the people playing video games while shopping at the supermarket or playing video games while waiting the doctor come. People may think playing video games in public to obtain is too dangerous, but some say it's okay. Even so, there are some arguments which talk about the good and bad effect of video game on, on children. To shorten the time, let's start our discussion now. So, who want to present the argument first? Here, let me first. In my opinion, the main purpose of playing video games is uh, to reduce a, a stress after doing a lot of activities throughout the day. This game can also fill our spare time just for fun. Sometimes we feel refreshed after our brain is stimulated from the games. The game itself also teaches us about teamwork if you choose a multiplayer type of games. For me, teamwork is not only done at work but also when we play video games online. Sorry to interrupt, but I have a different opinion. Online gaming is also bad for children and adults. For example, communication problems, not only problematic social skills, people who are addicted to online games will also have difficulty communicating in real life. Communication activities are not just listening and responding to other people's words, but also reading other people's expressions. In fact, children who are not sociable usually have a hard time doing this. Pardon me talk about teamwork. So, if we are good players, we can enter the tournament and be winners, then we can get money. But the more proficient we are at playing online games, the more obsessive we become of online gaming. This obsession... Wait, I understand what you, what you just said. But w what I mean here is, playing online game just for fans for spending or laser times. That's all. Okay, thank you, Dennis and Rahma. Are there any more comments from you? Of course. In my opinion, playing online games can also be good for brain health, such as improving English skills. You know, players can learn or speak English fluently because in the game itself provides English and automatically labels the features, menus, instruction, and expression in English as well. In addition, the players can repeat what was said by just by listening. Then you become more fluent in English because you can understand it and get better at playing online games. But I base my argument on an article where the WHO has defined online gaming addiction as a type of mental disorder. So yes, most children nowadays are more addicted to playing online games and the effect of this addiction are man manifested through a lack of focus on other daily activities. Well, I don't think so. Online video games are designed to help us reduce stress. Through online games, we can communicate with other people from other countries. 
the game can sharpen our brains, improve the analysis of things, make it easier to solve problems, be more creative and imaginative, and many more. But I base my argument on an article where the WHO has defined online gaming addiction as a type of mental disorder. So yes, most children nowadays are more addicted to playing online games and the effect of this addiction are many visited through a lack of focus on other daily activities. Okay, so let's say playing online games is fine but don't get addicted. We can play online games only when we are bored with something or need relaxation. And of course, consider the time we spend. Okay, there anything won't you s- serve for us? If not, okay. In conclusion, for people claim that video games provide benefits, such as a good way, kill boredom and refresh the mind after a lot of tiring activities. In addition, they also argue that video game can trigger children to be more creative because they provide challenge way to win. In other words, they believe that video game can really sharpen the human's brain. Conversely, contra people believe that video game make children lazy. They argue that flame video game is addicted. As a result, must children prepare playing video games to learning. Now, all we know that flame video games online has advance and disadvantage. Therefore, parents must be very careful in choosing games that are suitable from their children. Moreover, both parents and children need to see limit their goals for playing online games and how long it will take from them to start and stop playing game. Okay, uh, maybe enough. Thank you for your opinion. See you next and have a nice day.